Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix No rest for the wicked is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular icon. Go to the power icon over here and go for the restart. So once the restart is done, just try launch the game and you can see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what we have to do as the first step. This is very important. And once after done with this one and if you are having still trouble with this, you can move to the next step. That is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So launching the game from the Steam will be, uh, you know, that is why we might be having the issue up. So some reasons might be there. So just try launch the game from the Steam. Just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go over here in the install it file and just click on the browse. So a new folder pop-ups here. As you can see at the top that this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, no rest for the wicked. So this is actually the installation folder. Now from here we have to launch the game. This is what you have to try and launch the game from the installation folder did work it for many users so you can try this out next one you can try two steps that is all about run the game as administrator and also you can run the game in the compatibility mode for the windows 7 and windows 8 so hence within the installation folder i'll be showing you here itself so just click on this particular icon right click over here and go to the show more options navigate to the properties compatibility first click on run this program in the compatibility mode we can either set this to windows 7 and go for apply or you can set this to windows 8 and you can go for apply as well if windows 7 is working you are fine with it if windows 7 is not working you can try with windows 8 and also you can go for apply and go for ok next one you can click on this one that is run this program as an administrator so just go for apply and go for ok we can try with windows uh, i mean run the game in the compatibility mode or also you can try with the uh, running the game in the computer i mean administrator both things can be worked once afterwards let's move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure that is we have to make sure the date time is correct for so this go over here in the search just go over here in the search and we have to search for settings now go for the settings now from here navigate to time and language make sure the date and time make sure the time zone automatically and time automatically both these things that is this should be turned on and this should be turned on both has to be turned on now go back go to the language and region over here you have to make sure the country is selected so if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom this is what we have to do once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to launch the game and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but this even worked for many users so just click on the play button and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this even worked for many users so just launch the game once afterwards still if you're having the trouble you can keep on moving to the next step or you can try one by one one among them is all about we have to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer go over here into the documents and over here as you can see there are a lot of folders and over here as you can see there are a lot of folders in the same way you'll be having the folders for the game so if you find the folder for the no one just uh, no rest for the wicked folder you'll be able to find it so just delete the folder and once after delete you have to keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game once afterwards just try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the search go for the control panel now from here navigate to this one now from here you have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to select the game so keep scrolling down and hence it is an alphabet if you navigate to the end you'll be able to find it that is no rest for the wicked so just uh, make sure both the private and public both has to be marked which is very important once afterwards uh, if it is uh, it, if if it is already marked and if it is already uh, marked over here like no risk for the wicked is marked you're fine with it or else we have to add the game in order to add the game just click on the change setting before allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to uh, program file x86 
go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to uh, no okay over here no rest for the wicket so select this one and we have to open and we have to add it so i'll be getting the error because the game is already added once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of other peripherals for example joysticks might be connected controllers might be connected all these can cause the issue up so what we need to do is we just need to unplug everything once everything is unplugged just launch the game once you launch the game you have to connect back the controllers and try continue playing the game and that will be working fine i found this from the reddit so that is why i'm sure you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for system configuration search for the system configuration go over here now you'll be able to find the services go for a hide all microsoft services sorry just go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay now go for restart the users who are watching this you have to go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting so just go over here and afterwards try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the stream overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties make sure over here as you can see enable the stream overlay while in the game this should be turned off now try launch the game if that is not the case we can give the commands in the launch option that is the first command is dx11 you have to start with dx11 if dx11 is not working start with dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to start with dx12 and we have to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application which is draining out your performance just go over here in the start right click go to the task manager now from here we have to go over here find the unwanted things running over here there is there will be a lot of things running in the background for example discord river tuner msa afterburner etc will be running so once you uh, unplug everything i mean you have to uh, remove it like this go for the end the task remove everything over from here once afterwards try launch the game because when these kind of games are launching when you're trying to launch at the same time if many background things are consuming you'll be having the crashing issue so just do this, this is a very basic one even though you can try this next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search go for graphics settings now from here select this one now from here we have to go to the game so as you can see the game is not added we have to add the game just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here go to no one uh, you have to keep scrolling down and navigate to no rest for the wicket so select this one and go for add so once the game is added just go click on the option from let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game still if you are having the trouble we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for view advanced system setting just go over here go to the advanced go for settings once again go to the advanced once again and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk c go for custom size set the value initial size that is 1.5 times total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here now we need a calculator so type your ram that is 32 gb is my ram so you have to type your ram multiply with a constant value that is 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 49,152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it next one 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it once you set this value set everything ok and once afterwards try launch the game this will be working in most cases if still if you are having the trouble the next one is all about we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to the nvidia for the nvidia users for the amd users i'll be giving this so just go over here select everything like your product type should be selected product series should be selected products should be selected operating system should be selected and the download type and language everything should be selected so the first one you have to go for geoforce select the details according to your pc's configuration and go for start search 
So you'll be getting the driver version that is 552.22, which is released on 16th of April 2024, which is uh, four days back, which is around 634.6 MB. Download this one and we have to install it. Once afterwards, try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here, which one is yours, you have to select the details. And once afterwards, you have to select everything and go for submit. You'll be getting this option. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. Based on your 64-bit edition, you can download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. Try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ which even worked for many users. So just go over here. If the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one and install a restart as a mandatory and try launch the game. Even after trying with this one, still if you are having the trouble, you can try updating the windows. So just go over here, navigate to the settings, go for windows update just update the windows keeping updating the windows keep in mind if you're having any cumulative update and all those things you have to update it once the update is done just try launch the game still if you're having the trouble join with this one still if you're having the trouble you can try two steps which is very important one is you have to uninstall the game and you have to reinstall it back i know this sounds crazy because the game is around 14 gb you have to try it it even worked for many users even I found this from the Reddit, from the Steam community and even in other forums as well. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the manage and un uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should be installing back the game on a new local disk, not on the same local disk from which you uninstall, you have to try a new local disk. Last and the least step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over in the game, right click and go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, which resulting you causing this issue up. So that is why we are having this issue because when the files are corrupted and if any files are missing, we'll be having these kind of vice versa issues. So just cross check the verify integrity of game file and afterwards try launch the game. So we just need to wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do next. So once it's reached 100% as you can see, 10,642 files are successfully validated, which means you're fine with it. So close everything and try launch the game. And these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.